Tuesday afternoon, I'm on my way to get the car. Uh, there's this, this is the Hyroids Memorial Garden, basically Pauper's Graves. Uh, all here, but there's nothing left really, but there's like a memorial anyway, garden for them here in this little chapel. I'm just having a walk across because uh, I'm going to head down this sort of country lane down the back of there. You can see some gravestones in that bit there. I don't know if I can get through, I can't remember now. I'll have a look. Let's see what I can do. I think I can get through. Basically, just want to get to the other side of the little lane and then head down that lane. Uh, towards the railway line, the little bridge, and then up past the farm, at the top down, to go and get the car. It's, uh, <clears throat> oh, that's a little get there, exploring this. 2,000, so that's, that's that high road cemetery there. So there's 2,061 patients who died between 1899 and 69. And there's like a little nature reserve area here. This bit, nettles and all that there, heading down there, and then this bit is maybe just a an ordinary graveyard for the village of Menston, I think. Got here. Oh, the age of the law quite. 1979, so yeah, 2013. So yeah, this must just be a small uh, Menston graveyard. But then the the main one's actually up the hill. We do pass it on the way to go and get the car. Yeah, so there's a little gate here, a little. That's it. Yeah, Got that bit there. So now I'm on this bit, which is I can. Want, this is the little lane I want to get to. Uh, so previously I've just walked around the top there, but actually it's quite nice just to walk straight through that, it avoids the main road. So when I get to the Seat garage there, which I just walked through as well, I was just having a look. There's no big cars for sale there, they're all small ones, cost a fortune as well. But I was just having a look and I just crossed the road, Seat garage, and then through the, that gate into the Hyroids uh, cemetery there. And then, uh, that's actually a little quieter route, better route in a way. So we're down here now, that takes us to this little railway bridge. So that's over the line between Geisley and Menston Station. And uh, there's an electric substation here. And of course the playing fields for the school are up in that direction, the St Mary's High School, or just behind there. Uh, so then I just go, go down here and then I go up the other side of the railway line, up the hill, past a couple of little farms, and that takes us to the, the sort of other road. And then I walk past the, uh, the sort of main Geisley Cemetery. Well, Guy, you know, it's kind of halfway between Geisley and, and here, really, it's in the countryside. And I walk past that down the hill, and that takes us to the garage, which is Pit Stop Garage. So we're supposed to be collecting the car, they said they would do it. On Wednesday, they did say if they could do it earlier, they will try and fit it in. So they have done it. So I got a text about half past one saying it was ready to collect. Uh, but Stephanie and Eve were out at the park and the post office and things. So I just waited till they got back. And now it's, I'm heading up. I think it's about uh, 20 to, what time is it now? I think about 20 to 2, 20 to... I'll try to three. I'll check. Yeah, it's about ten to three. So it's just a little walk up this through this little country footpath here, past a couple of farms. A little bit of mud there, but I can step over it. That's okay. Not too bad. See, maybe just through the gaps when I'm walking, I'm able to see the railway line uh, going across the field there. 
I'll just see if I can stop and let you see it again. Maybe make out the line just in there. That goes along that way to Geisley Station. So the stops it comes from Leeds and then doesn't stop all the way to Geisley. First stop just there. We can see it better there, the railway line. Look, going running along there. So Geisley Station's up there. And then the next stop's Menston. And then it goes to Burley and Wharfdale, Ben Ridding, and then Ilkley. So in terms of getting out here, it's quick to get from Leeds to Geisley. It doesn't stop or anything. And here comes a train, look, that is. That's going towards Leeds. Actually, there's two routes. So when it gets to Geisley, there's a route that goes along, which it goes to Leeds. But actually, some of the trains, half the trains, uh, don't go to Leeds. They, they'll turn right up there and then they'll head down towards Bradford. So they'll have other stops on that line towards Bradford. So there's actually two little routes there. It's like a Bradford to Ilkley route and a Leeds to Ilkley route. So you just have to make sure you get on the right one if you're heading into Leeds. But you know that if you're going from Leeds, there's only one route uh, towards Ilkley that way. So there we go. It's all electrified. You normally have about five carriages on the Leeds ones. A little pond here, a little duck pond. It's part of this farm here. You see? In there. All the fields that way. So yeah, so it's just a little short walk now up to the top of this path and then you meet the, the, the sort of country road which runs down this way to the right and that's the road which the garage is on and that's got a footpath on it so it's quite safe and everything. There are lots of butterflies I've seen here, a lot of thistles have flowered and then there's seed, seeded. So I've got my sun hat on, it's quite, quite bright sunshine and uh, the temperature has gone up this morning, it was pretty cool. Uh, we went down to Waitrose and things, but it's actually warmed up a bit now. And I just got short, well I've been wearing shorts and t-shirt since May, but I've uh, got my shorts and t-shirt on. So I just got this little track here now. There's a couple of little farmhouses there. And uh, when we get to where the sort of brick wall, the uh, stone wall is up here, that's where the road is there, I'll walk to the right. And where that hedging is there, that's the sort of main cemetery there. So you can see it's in like a very quiet area. We'll just head up that way. So yeah, we're coming up to so where this wall is, that we're going to head right there. That takes us along the main road. So up we go. So I think you can keep going up, straight up there. Uh, more of a bridle way up that bit. Horses and bikes and things. Up there. So, that's a little wind turbine there. This, where the greenhouses are there, that's a garden centre, just there, like a privately run one, and it hasn't got all the stupid fancy stuff you get at some of the garden centres, like, you know, Christmas trees and garden furniture and all that, it is just plants, so, yeah, that's St Mary's High School, just down there, straight there, the railway line, and then this is the, uh, A little cemetery here, going past. That's it. And then these are just the fields behind this garden centre. Up to the top. There's not crops or anything here, it's all just sort of uh, grazing and hay and things like that going on site. So, yeah. Yeah, uh, the hillsides are a bit steep and wet and things for horrible crops. 
at this way in the dales so it's all just grassland grass cutting going on there so it's called swin car nurseries this and uh, i think it's been proved so popular they've had to extend the car park so i saw in this area here where you can see some cars that that previously was grass and uh other things like pallets and all that they've obviously decided to extend that out there make a bit more room because it's been very popular uh the nursery so for plants and stuff there's not that many there today i think we're end of season now really but uh parking along there but then in this bit they've extended the parking but uh, quite all right, lots of greenhouses you can go in and like that. Right, so we're almost there now. So you can see we're coming up to this sign which says Geisley, 30 miles. So this is the sort of start of the housing. And then Pit Stop Garage is just down the hill here. And that's adjacent then to a huge complex of mills which were formed uh, a couple of hundred years ago by Abraham Moon and it's still operating today all this time later amazing I mean there's not many mills I don't know if there's any other mills still operating now, there's a there's a one in Stanley Pudsey where they still make the cloth for snooker tables the top professional snooker tables and there's this one I don't know if there's any others right yeah so it's interesting little houses along here rendering so we're almost there, just where this uh, railing is here, that's where the, uh, the garage is. And then there's like a sort of few more old mill buildings just here and then the main mill is just past that copper roof. I think you can see that copper thing, that's like an ornate clock in a little car park. I'll stand it still so you can see it. That sort of bluish thing there's like a car park there with an ornate clock in it and then just beyond that all this like goes on for a long way the mill buildings still operating abraham moon so here we go it says mot servicing repairs and all that there so that's where we're going see if i can see the car i think it might be down there parked down there hopefully i can get it out of there There we are, pit stop garage. Where we go in here. Where is the car? Is it down there? Yeah, it's down there. Hey guys, welcome back. Let's see if this is cooked or not. If it's not cooked, Stephanie gets hit with a fork. Gotta test the inside, guys, because. Oh no, if the fork is stuck. Wait. Oh my. That is definitely not cooked. Despicable, mate. You better not add this to a YouTube video, man.